Hello my beautiful soul tribe, welcome back to my channel, this is Neetu. So today's pick a card reading is going to be about uh, your physical health, your overall well-being, your mind, uh, your emotions, your feelings and what could be the challenges uh, that you may face in 2021 that's related to your uh, overall well-being and your health, uh, your mind, body, soul and all of those things. So let's uh, get started and this is the third video in the series of 2021 uh, general readings so if you have not already checked out the 2021 general reading and uh, the second reading was related to finances um, and the general uh, materialistic aspect of your life if you haven't checked that out please uh, uh, check out those videos as well and this is the third video in the series of 2021 reading uh, readings uh, the next uh, reading is going to be uh, love and relationship in 2021 one. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, be sure to check that out as well and also many many videos that I have lined up this month and the whole 2021. I, I am planning a lot uh, for my uh, YouTube channel so please uh, join uh, our soul tribe and really get all this advice, guidance and messages from the divine that is really intended uh, to lift you, uplift you and help you uh, move forward in your life towards success and whatever that you desire uh, to get in your life and to ease your path uh, in uh, in terms of learning your uh, soul lessons and if you're lost you may, get, uh, you may get some guidance as well through your guides and angels and then that is the whole idea of this channel i know <laughs> the introduction became a little more uh, bigger than what i expected but yeah uh, let's get started we have three piles here pile number one two and three i'll be placing the object on top of each pile so that you can go ahead and select based on the object or the pile as it is once you make your selection get into the description box scroll down there will be a timestamp with reference to your particular pile you can click on the timestamp and jump straight into your reading you can select more than one pile do however it feels fit for you at this point in time but i'll be starting uh, with uh, some objects pop popping some objects on top of the pile for group number one uh, we have this beautiful white shell for group number two uh, we have this uh, feather and for group number three, oops, uh, we have moss agate crystal. This is moss agate crystal. So make your selection. I'll be uh, starting with group number one now. Welcome group number one. If you have selected this white shell, this reading is for you. Uh, group number one, uh, I'm getting this energy of, you know, I'm hearing actually halt and then proceed. What I'm trying to tell you is uh, whatever you're eating, whatever you're in, uh, don't overindulge. They're telling balance is the key. You, you've got to balance uh, what you eat, what you do. Like everything has to be balanced out. Your work life balance, your personal life, uh, giving equal amount of uh, time and your energy. Like it has to be properly uh, planned uh, organized that is going to help you a lot in order to maintain your uh, health in in the highest possible uh, version because i'm seeing a lot of overwhelming energy like uh, you've may you've may uh, you know postpone things or you may accumulate uh, doing a lot of things at once or uh, there is a little bit of procrastination that i'm seeing which may overwhelm you at once all right you may postpone it and also i'm seeing this indulge uh, indulgence uh, you know it could be eating or whatever you do you're doing in excess all right if you're resting you're resting in excess or if you're uh, uh, doing a lot like you're you're completely doing to an extent where you burn out completely so there are two extreme ends i'm seeing for you group number one you got to really balance it out with taking a proper time out and also doing the or taking the action in a more uh, realistic and responsible way is going to help uh, a lot uh, to work at your optimal health to maintain your optimal optimal health all right don't uh, ignore uh, just because something is really small like postponing it uh, you know like assuming that let me do it uh, next week or something like that that is going to pile up a lot and it is going to overwhelm you that is the energy that i'm getting all right so don't let that happen because that is going to be a major uh, difficulty for you next uh, year 2021 do not let energy do not let any of your work pile up properly or organize may, may maintain your uh, to-do list and tick 
off from the list once you do it all right and also give enough time to rest and also give enough time uh, to take action so there has to be a proper balance between feminine energy and masculine energy for you in the year 2021 that is going to bring you a lot of success uh, and joy and and optimal health for you group number uh, one and also they are showing no do not do anything in excess like drinking uh, smoking or partying um, it could be become too excess for you or just uh, just ignoring or, or being um um like over period of rest and procrastination or over period of work is not going to be uh, beneficial for you uh, you know everything has to be in balance is the key for you group number of one let me see what the cards has to say okay this is exactly <laughs> this is exactly what we have been talking here see can you see this laziness this luxury like being comfortable there and not doing much or not taking any action and the other version of you where you're fighting you're taking action to complete all that that has been accumulated and you are not able to complete it on time there are two extreme ends that i'm seeing for you group number one so be really um, uh, you know mindful of what is that you're doing what are the actions that you're taking and how is that helping you there has to be a very mindful and a thoughtful way of organizing your uh, uh, 2021 is going to help you a lot otherwise it is going to overwhelm you and for some of you you may ignore your physical activity completely uh, for a very long period of time and then you jump start your physical activity in terms of your exercise or your or whatever that workout means to you and then you're going to uh, you, uh, you know burn out very soon so that is the tendency that you may feel in 2021 so be sure that you are balancing this out like being lazy all the time or fighting for things that you want all the time both are not the right approach to what you desire in life and uh, 2021 is where you got to balance it out really lay down your plan for 2021 or month wise or week wise whatever it is or however your schedule is in your life and you'll have to act accordingly and plan it properly and um, be very uh, clear on what is that you're doing there can be a possibility of overwhelming feeling uh, when you have not accomplished what you really wanted to and that is going to push you hard to pursue it and that is going to break you all right it you have to push hard to do it but not at the cost of you um you know taking enough leisure and not focusing on the goal and suddenly you jump into the goal and then you are uh, burning out you're working until you burn out completely and then uh, your health may become a little deteriorated and uh, you you probably may feel exhausted a lot of exhaustion overwhelming feeling is what i'm getting and the solution to that is properly organizing things prioritizing things on a daily basis is going to help you very much group number of one yeah follow your intuition and let go and have fun you'll have to follow your intuition what what they're trying to tell you is you'll have to intuitively plan your things like uh, be really realistic on what is that you you can or cannot uh, uh, um, uh, complete in a given day or a given week and uh, follow your intuition have an intuitive plans for yourself that is going to help a lot do not listen to what others are uh, uh, telling you in terms of you know what i did this i followed this and this really worked out for me but how good that plan is for you matters a lot to you group number one so you'll have to really be realistic uh when you uh, are taking suggestions or guidance from others because it may not work out for you you may have to have your own way of uh, uh, dealing uh, with things when it comes to f fulfilling your dreams and desires and goals um you know like every day you'll have to plan in certain way that is really uh doable and uh and it is tailor-made for you and you following others uh, way of setting goals or others way of doing things or others workout plan may also not uh be helping you much because uh, your body is not understanding what you're trying to tell because the language that you your body has is different from the other person and that is what you are angels and guides are trying to tell you you really follow your intuition you already know what to do and for some of you if you know already that you have been procrastinating you have been uh, um, 
you have been putting things off you know like thinking let me do it in 2021 this is not the right time and things like that your angels and guides are telling it's time for you to pick that project that you have put in a back burner it's time all right and also there is celebration let go and have fun do not get um uh, fixated towards this is how exactly it has to go again that is going to overwhelm you so you, your angels and guides are telling you the plan has to be in such a way it has to be realistic it has to be doable and enjoyable at the same time which is going to bring you a very realistic results uh, and a very positive results and be, and it will uplift your health overall health overall well-being in a very positive way and you can work at your optimal point of health and well-being uh, and uh, but that is going to bring you a lot of success all right in physical wise they are telling you'll have to move your body a lot like accumulation of energy can be one of the thing for you like you you uh, because of uh, long duration of not doing much and then jumping there to do a lot so that can be a contradictory energy so your uh, the energy is not moving properly in your body so there has to be some some degree of physical movement uh, which is going to bring you uh, you know which will help your energy to flow in a very rhythmic and uh, a beautiful way so that you are operating every day at your uh, optimal performance so that is something your angels and guides are pointing at do ha add something to your uh, schedule in terms of movement do what you really like if you want to dance yeah the one other thing they are telling is uh add what is that you really want to do in terms of that ignites your passion it could be dancing it could be singing there should be some element in your life in 2021 which is which you are really passionate about that will also uplift your health and overall well-being uh, all right so that is something which is really uh, important to you this um 2021 all right do you treat yourself we have pink tourmaline here if you want to work with pink, uh, pink tourmaline in 2021 please do so you treat yourself well what kind of self-talk is going on in your mind pay attention to how well you treat yourself be aware of your inner shatter and make changes towards love treat yourself the way you want to be treated it is time to awaken your consciousness and focus on love for yourself again the second key for you is self-love as i told you organizing all the things and making sure that what is really important to you and uh, uh, having a clear uh, goal uh, and a mind uh, and a mindset towards a proper approach you're going to win 2021 in terms of your health and the overall general uh, success in your life for that you taking care of your Yourself and you making sure that you are organizing and prioritizing things is going to help you a lot in terms of your overall health and well-being and Archangel Chamuel is coming through and he he is telling you you know like unconditional love is mine today and always every cell in my being vibrates at the rate of love I feel good I am happy I am grateful the energy of my own loving vibration nurtures my thoughts and feelings they really want to uh, raise your vibration in 2021 because there is a lot to come you you are due to receive a lot of success and abundance into your life and uh, raising your vibration to to an extent because what you want is somewhere here and you are uh, if you if your uh, vibration is a little lower it is difficult for them to match your vibration to bring forth all that you want and they really want you to raise your vibration by really uh, doing some sort of uh, you know body movement energy work uh, following your intuition like planning everything intuitively like today if you are not feeling good if you don't want to eat uh, uh, any meat or if you really want to go on that uh, uh, juice a uh, diet for a day or anything that your body is telling you listen to it intuitively because your body is going to guide you exactly what is that you're supposed to be eating drinking doing exercising dancing or whatever it is that is going to help you lift your vibration and uh, for you to be uh, optimally working you you will know exactly what needs to be done all right and then we have okay we have lalita tripura uh, sundari and then we have agna chakra again uh, intuition agna chakra is all about third eye and the intuition your intuition going to be spot on in 2021 listen to your body and do some meditation because your vibration is raising constantly and 2021 is going to be a uh, 
a very important period for you in order to raise your consciousness work on your third eye chakra do some meditations that is going to help you open your third eye chakra which will allow you to see and operate much more at the intuition level and not following uh, you know the general way of living because your consciousness and your overall uh, energy and vibration is increasing day by day and uh, uh, you are definitely becoming very intuitive uh, lately if you have noticed and uh, if you haven't start noticing it and this is a feminine uh, energy and this mandala behind here this is a uh, you know uh, the life force energy is what i'm feeling like you have to increase your life force through eating right eat, eating a lot of greens eating a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, healthy and uh, they're they're showing a lot of greens and a lot of vegetables and i'm not sure if you are a, a vegetarian but try and see what is going to raise your vibration you can google uh, the food that is going to help you raise your vibration try to incorporate that you don't have to bring in all the changes at once but try and add some of the changes which is going to really uh, help you raise your vibration to a substantial amount i am not seeing a major health uh, issues here apart from uh, you know emotionally overwhelmed emotionally drained uh you know and uh, uh um really burning out you may feel burnt out uh, quite often because of all this uh, instability in your energy uh, bringing back that stability by being really organizing and taking care of your things can really bring down the amount of stress level that you may go through in 2021 and you will be absolutely fine so uh, adding some sort of movement like uh, doing stretches yoga uh, or any slow movement a rhythmic movement uh, of workout is going to help you a lot group number one add any element of movement into uh, your daily routine really have the to-do list in place and things are going to be absolutely fine for you but you whenever you feel overwhelmed take a walk in the nature or try to connect with nature we're getting the natural world here a world here root chakra bringing a lot of stability and security endurance to your life i am one with nature and nature is one with me i honor the rhythms of nature and flow with the season i walk upon the earth gently but firmly as my ancestors have done before me i know when to move forward when to retreat when to cultivate and when to grow when to yield and when to harvest i belong see this is exactly what i was telling the last uh, four lines like you have to know when to move forward when to stop when to retreat so that is called as balance that is called as intuitive living intuitively planning like how what is your body trying to tell you what is that you are supposed to do and you will just know your path and your overall health be health and overall well-being will be at its optimal point when you are listening to it listening intuitively and following uh, your plans and guidance intuitively is going to help you a lot in uh, uh, 2021 all right and uh, there is nothing uh, much that you should be worried about apart from whatever that i have mentioned here so if you uh, can work on this plan it already before 21 21 arrives what is that you want to do what are the elements that you want to add to bring this balance into your life and i think you should be perfectly all right in 2021 okay yeah that's all i'm getting for you group number one if you have liked the video please subscribe to my channel and the next video is going to be about love and relationship which is another big part of our life so make sure you check that video as well and support my channel thank you love you all take care bye bye welcome group number two if you have selected this beautiful feather this reading is for you and for your group number two uh if there is any drain uh, or uh, the point where your health may not feel good in 2021 it may be related to your mind your emotions your feelings you, you may feel the fluctuations a lot of fluctuation than normal uh for you in 2021 in terms of identifying your uh reality identifying your truth of who you are people may try to dominate meet you and and to tell you that uh, you know this is what it is and uh, probably you may feel a little weak and that is where um, your angels and guides are telling you it is not much of a health issue but the overall mind body soul 
connection has to be made in a in such a way that the outside world is not going to influence your truth and your honesty of who you are and that is going to be a little challenging period for you to really identify and follow through what you believe in and uh, without being influenced by others and the another thing that they're telling is do not lower your standards do not compromise and do not uh, yield to others opinion that could be a little challenging for you because they may be they you may feel that it is overpowering uh dominating and things like that that is the area where you should be really uh be focusing on in 2021 in terms of your overall uh well-being yeah look at that look at that <laughs> this is the card of guilt this is uh eight of uh, swords and we have past lives yeah i mean you have a lot of soul contracts going on group number two i'm not going to um you know like sugar coat here because a lot of soul contracts that you're dealing with right now you may be having people who are draining your energy a little bit more than usual looks like you have come to a point where you have a hard time understanding what are they really trying to do in your life or what is it they are trying to teach you or there there is you have come to a point where you really want to change all right so there is a lot of i i will not say depression but you're feeling absolutely low drain very low on energies all right it may continue in 2021 for a little bit until you realize that you have the power and you move on and and you are actually working on some past life karma uh, past life issues the maybe the person who uh, who is really triggering you um, yeah for you that there, there is going to be a lot of trigger points you know like somebody is really triggering you and pushing all the buttons uh, which is really causing you a lot of distress and 2021 is the year where you'll be breaking out of it and congratulations on that because you have successfully uh, you know come to this point you have uh, you have been trying your way out out your uh, the very reason why you are here in this reading is you are trying to find the answers you are trying to find your way out and that in itself is uh, is is the favor that you are doing to yourself because it's time for you to break out of all this guilt guilt and shame that the other person ha may have inflicted onto you or made you believe that you are doing something that you should be guilty of but uh, your angels and guides are very strongly telling you no they are very strongly objecting on this point that no, nobody can make you feel this way unless you allow them to do so to you and it is time for you to do the repair and the damage control. Wow, this is exactly what they are tell telling like this is time for you to do some damage control because you have reached a point that uh, it's, it's enough like enough is enough and 2021 is where you are going to break free of this and uh, how is this related to your health and well-being because your overall health and well -being being will improve once the situation that you are in or the person that uh, that is causing you or inflicting this pain or guilt and shame and worry and all of those things you you finally win this and your vibration is going to lift up like you complete the cycle and now you're ready to move on to the next cycle and you slowly see your mind your emotions your vibration starts to lift start to get cleared up like uh, a clearing of the air as a matter of fact you chose the feather which means uh, you know like uh, air is getting cleared uh, you know you can now feel the nice breeze it is not windy anymore you know point where you are absolutely comfortable by the being you and your overall health and well-being is going to increase drastically for you in 2021 and uh, do not give up do not give up on yourself you have come so far is what i'm seeing okay look at that El illusion embrace the truth this is what i was feeling with the feather like you you are you identifying your truth is going to be uh, is going to be amazingly important is going to be amazing <laughs> all right so uh, that sentence you know got combined with two different statements that i wanted to make all right so illusion this is you coming out of the illusion this is you coming out of what you thought to be true but now you're you're finding your way out you're not stuck in this illusion anymore and eight of swords is again of illusion uh you know that i'm stuck i'm lost but you are not but it it is just the illusion that you you may feel trapped but you really always have the way out and that is exactly what you'll be realizing and coming out of this illusion 
religion and you'll be following your truth and no more following your fake uh, identity that people gave to you or you created for yourself and we have memories cherished memories of your loved ones so uh, yeah there is a very strong as i said with, with the past life there is an ancestor that is working with you very closely a past on loved one for some of you it is mother for some of you it is grandmother but there is somebody from your ancestral line who are very strongly helping with you in terms of overcoming this pain and burden and problem and they see they see you from the other side and they want you to get out of it and they also thanking you for keeping them in your memory if that is for some of you which is coming very strongly they are thanking you for keeping them in your memory thinking about them and asking them for help showing you a asking them to show you a way and they say that they are hearing they know what you're going through and it will all be over very soon once you courageously identify your truth and get out of the illusion and understand and believe and realize that you have the power to do so and then you see the magic happening in your life that is going to uplift your health overall all right there is lot of healing coming for you group number 2 there is lot of healing in terms of uh, emotions in terms of raising your vibration in terms of uh, clearing past life karmas and to um bring you out of this illusion and and to allow you to step into your truth there is lot of things that is going on for you Okay we have peacock copper and peacock is all about standard all right peacock is the epitome of beauty and the standard that it maintains and then the grace in it in which it walks that is a um, uh, you know amazing are you in touch with your magnificence find ways to bring more joy into your life be aware of the source of your emotional challenges or perceived blocks so that you can release them get in touch with your inner radiance and shine your light brilliantly uh, brightly in fact wow this is amazing group number too this is this is what we have been talking about and we have angel uh, sandal fawn here my life is dynamic and full of vibrant energy i am full of uh, vigor i am authentic and loyal i confidently show my true colors to others while well, look at that the true colors it is fabulous feeling to be all that i can be i am full of life enhancing joy and goodness and this is what your angels and guides are telling you to believe in because you are that light you have the capability and do not lower your standards to uh, to fit into somebody else's illusion of who you are because you have to step out of that you are stepping into your power group number 2 uh, you are stepping into your power you are going to get out of that guilt that shame you are going to heal out of it all right whatever the distress that you are going through emotional drains uh, that you are going to overcome and uh, this is possible only when you step into your power otherwise this is what uh, is going to continue but the healing uh, this healing and the support that you're getting will really help you see the truth for what it is all right we have uh, tamas here and we have sita this is devotion all right this is the devotion of uh, um, you being really working on yourself this is about you working on yourself and being honest and being loyal and really being there for others that is really showing up and this is sita is also about uh, not not lowering the standards for no reason all right so that is what your angels and guides are telling you do not lower your standards tamas is about feeling a little drained worried and sometimes feeling lost these are all the energies that i'm picking up on uh, group number 2 and that is going to continue in 2021 for a little bit not the entire year until you realize and step into your power and there is a way out and a way out is really quick it is going to be really quick it is like a rip it is like ripping off the bandaid and slowly your overall energy overall well-being overall health is going to improve drastically all right and also what i'm seeing here is group number 2 for you uh, eat eat the food of different colors is what they are showing like have a variety of food added into your diet like add different color food uh, <laughs> and uh, vitamins and minerals that they are talking about having a nutritiously balanced food do not ignore yourself self love taking care of yourself and stepping into your power uh, is all going to help you a lot to improve your overall health and well being group number 2 uh, all right so let me pull another card
they're telling you to rest a lot if if that is the need of you really rest a lot uh, take care of yourself 2021 is when you're going to step into your power uh, uh, you know like uh, really rest if if possible just go to nature uh, you know connect with mother earth really uh, look at tea or a tree or hug the tree or if you are uh, fond of animal you know just spend some time with animal all these things is going to put you in a much calmer and uh, um, in a in a very a nice space okay solar plus uh, plexus chakra this is uh, absolutely uh, you know the energy the fire energy uh, your confidence self confidence your victory and we have lion look at that we have all the animals here um, and all aggressive animals here autonomy i move beyond the limits that my ancestor <laughs> ancestor society and have unconsciously placed upon me i am free i recognize myself as an, 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 an autonomous being of infinite possibility and potential i am free to shine my light and strengthen my ego as i discover my potential yeah this is all about you discovering your potential in 2021 i am a limitless being and also they are very clearly telling you the limits that the society or your ancestors or your family or your friends have put on you it is really not true make sure that you're breaking free of all that so that you can really expect the beautiful and the wondrous life that you are destined um, uh, for you all right group number 2 do not dim your light for anybody because um uh you know like one second there i'm trying to pull a card for you okay so the card that has come out is look at that we have peacock coming through and peacock is something that we talked about a little bit as a matter of fact i have this card right next to me is a peacock as well okay the confidence is the key for you in 2021 it takes courage to put your butt on the line and go for it and the best way to strengthen your confidence is to put yourself out there who cares what other people think everybody starts somewhere and don't worry about making mistakes you can always course correct all right when you shine we all are inspired to do the same confidence is the key stepping into your power is the key and uh, lo not lowering your standards for no reason is the key and uh, getting out of that illusion is going to improve your health dramatically all right whenever you feel low whenever you feel tired just take a journal and journal it out or if you need a counseling just go take a counselor's uh, uh, you know help or or your closed loved one or somebody who who is whom you really trust for sure all right and this is all going to help you improve your overall health and well being the only issue that i'm seeing here in terms of your overall health and well being is you feeling easily drained easily uh, lost and overwhelmed about whatever is going on here i'm sensing a lot of fear for you to take certain actions and decisions so it is all mind related emotions related which may cause a uh, effect on your body in terms of uh, Uh, aches and pains in your body and it is going to go off eventually once you have come out of the situation successfully and learnt your lesson that is not going to be a lasting health issue so that is the reason probably they are not showing up very strongly here so they want you to go to the root cause of it and clear the uh, the issue from the root and the overall health and well being is going to increase and your vibrancy your life force is going to increase the energy is going to flow much smoother and easier and i'm sensing it is all going to happen after uh, you know the first uh, you know after march or june or something like that you you, you are going to feel much more energized run happier but you still have everything in your hand you can do the changes beginning today and not waiting for the march or june to arrive you can make small changes starting today start adding some small habits that is going to uh, help you uh, to take care of yourself fall in love with yourself and uh, really going on that spa going on that vacation meeting that friend that you have not been meeting for a long period so do anything in your capacity to raise your vibe and help yourself and love yourself more and more and more every single day and this is going to improve and build your confidence that you really want in 2021 all right yeah that's all i'm getting for you group number 2 if you have like the video 
please subscribe to my channel and support and the next video is going to be love and relationship related there are many more videos that is lined up please make sure to subscribe and support my channel for more such uh, messages and guidance see you in my next video love you all bye bye welcome group number three if you have selected moss gate this reading is for you uh, uh for you group number three i'm getting this message message that you need to be open to receive that is going to be a little challenging for you to be open to receive uh you know um when i say uh, open to receive you may have blocked your heart or you may have this belief or thought that uh, this may not happen anyway or this may not come into my life anyway or there is some sort of limited thought or belief that is going to block you from receiving the abundance or the good health or anything that you have been looking for if you are already sick or if you already have some health issues uh, you will have to really open yourself up for receiving the healing uh, from uh, whatever the healing method that you are receiving you could be approaching a holistic healing or a general medicine whatever that is for it to affect on you in a very uh, right way and for a positive changes and results you got to be really open and believe in the treatment that you are taking is going to help you a lot for others of you who are who are not going through any health challenges this is going to be about you may have a, a difficulty really believing in things or opening your heart to the possibility all right you really have to expand your mind and accept whatever that is coming your way uh, because that may block all the things that is coming into your life all right um yeah participation and we have uh, control this is the emperor energy and participation is uh, uh, is for of wands all right so overall i am saying that uh, health physical health you need to have a control over what you are doing what you are thinking what you are eating uh, you know uh, you should have a thorough uh, 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 clarity on what is that you are doing you cannot just ignore and do it you know by just going with the flow you will have to really take care of what you are indulging in what you are eating what you are feeding your body mind and soul is going to really help you a lot i am seeing a lot of success and abundance for you group number 3 although this is a health and a general well being reading but it is everything is interlinked i am seeing a lot of uh, success abundance and healing that is coming your way but uh, you have to be really open and accepting of all this that is entering into your life how will that happen uh, that will happen when you surrender your problem and issue to the divine or surrender it to the natural forces and tell that you know what i'm going to surrender it kindly show me the way and things are going to unfold in a very uh, a beautiful way and you're going to witness this beauty in your life only when you release a control over what is that you want to do or what is that you want to bring into your life all right uh, you are co-creating a lot in 2021 when i say co-creation you may have a lot of people coming into your life you may have partnerships happening into your life uh, all right there is something about you working with others is going to bring a lot of success or you may be a healer yourself or you may be a medical person yourself uh, there is going to be a lot of uh, new uh, clients or new business that is coming your way uh, for that all these things to happen you got to release control over trying to control the situation trying to control the outcome uh, you know like that is the area where you should really work on in 2021 of releasing control and really be uh, you know and go with the rhythm of the life or not really try to control and hold on to things that is something you will have to really work on in 2021 which is going to help you a lot and the other thing is really my be mindful and be very clear what you are feeding your mind body and soul because there is lot that is coming in for you in 2021 and we don't want to spoil it all right and you can spoil it by having this self uh, you know some limiting thoughts or beliefs or not accepting uh, you know like 
i don't think so it is going to happen it is too big it is too huge for it to come into my life so any sort of negative beliefs or anything that is stopping you just work on releasing it from today because there is lot that is due uh, that is coming into your life all right the people who are already having the health issues i see lot of uh, uh, healing that is happening for you uh, i'm getting lot of healing vibes or healers vibes here uh, you know you've maybe healers yourself um, if you're a healer yourself you have to ground yourself a lot in 2021 and take care of your health as well uh, because uh, you know in 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 the due course of helping others you may feel a little drained uh, than usual if you're a healer uh, yourself all right and then we have friendship nurture your relationships and thou uh, take a leap of faith yeah i told you there is lot that is going to happen for you in 2021 group number 3 this is a very vibrant and beautiful period of your life and uh, do not do not doubt it all right and we have dow uh, this is dow is always an ambassador of love and peace and serenity for me especially there are a lot of butterflies like whole world in your hand like wherever you want to go whatever that you want to do it is possible for you in 20 21 and uh, there are a lot of friendships nurturing your relationships new people coming in there is lot going on for you in 2021 for you to stay at your optimal health optimal overall well being the only thing that can stop you is your limiting thoughts limiting beliefs having uh, you know doubting it or trying to control the outcome of it or getting nervous get, getting tensed or getting impatient is going to block all these things that is entering into your life more than physical physical uh you know health they are showing a lot of emotional uh you know your thoughts your mind acts a vital role for you in 2021 and as a matter of fact for all the all three groups majorly uh especially for one and three it is all about mind and how how you perceive the success how you perceive and how uh, and most importantly they, they are telling how do you define success have your own definition of success have your own definition of what is really important to you and do not follow others definition of what success means what abundance means what friendship means what relationship means this is you making your own choices making your own uh, uh, way of living uh, your own lifestyle and all of these things is going to help you a lot greatly very important thing they are repeating again and again your angels and guides do not limit your thoughts it's time for you to expand your mindset it's time for you to surrender your worry and problems and uh, if you have a health issues because you're going to be healed you're going to be recovering you're going to be getting out of this in 2021 and there is lot that is coming into your life and we want you to be prepared we want you to be ready and how do you do that you'll have to be really grounded you'll have to be really open to receiving all this uh, how do you block all these things from coming into your life by having those limit limiting thoughts having limiting beliefs or believing others opinion of what is success to you is going to diminish the bright and vibrant life that is about to enter into your uh, life all right uh dolomite have you uh, wanted to do something creative creative are you feeling artistic let your inspiration flow and generate your insight into manifest reality yeah a lot of things is getting manifested into your reality it doesn't matter what it is it could be a nice meal a pretty garden an amazing photograph or some sewing project regardless now is the time to produce it it will bring you fulfill and purpose fulfillment and purpose wow this is exactly group number 3 i'm getting a lot of amazing beautiful soothing energy from you like success and all of it and your in angels and guides are telling you do not let the success get into your head that is another thing you have to be always be grounded you should always be centered and in alignment to your higher self to the god and do not let the success and abundance get into your head because that is going to ruin and block your success further you know going forward and there is lot that is waiting to getting manifested into your life and really work on uh, having a positive mindset having a positive life they are also telling have a simplistic life they are telling uh, try to follow uh, you know uh, the life that is absolutely simple uh, Uh, and uh, down to earth that is what they are showing again and again have a very down to earth but a simplistic uh, uh, you know a life they are showing lot of serene lot of nature lot of uh, um, 
I'm seeing a lot of nature, you being in nature and you being really calm near the uh, stream of water and things like that. This is going to be really amazing and also stream of water is again a healing message for me like a lot of healing and abundance flowing into your life. Archangel Gabriel is coming to relax my mind, body and body, mind and spirit to meditate regularly. See, this is another idea your angels and guides are giving you. Meditate regularly. Great ideas are constantly flowing into my mind see flowing wow this is amazing this is this is probably the vision that they were showing me it is fulfilling to follow through on creative thoughts and manifest my reality i take enthusiastic action i'm productive all right and some of you if you have this creative idea or there is something that is bubbling in your mind do not doubt it take a leap of faith and that is what the card here is telling you take a leap of faith it is going to bring you a lot of abundance success friendship partnerships you're going to work with a lot of people the thing is release control i'm not seeing much of a overall health issues here so far the only thing that i'm seeing here they're showing they are actually uh, i'm feeling a stiffness in my shoulder as i speak uh, which I did not have so far so there could be stiffness in your body there could be uh, you know like a big because of this control like you want to control the situation you want to control what is going on around like things like that like you becoming impatient these are all the things that you may encounter in 2021 so they are telling that is the reason they're telling have a simple life have a simple goal have a, uh, a you know like comfortable life do not overwork or don't do not overindulge in anything or do not overdo anything because it is going it is happening exactly how it should be open to receive it is the key for your group number uh, three and um, i lost the train of thought there was another message that was coming through yeah you have to add a kind of energetic work into your uh, lifestyle like uh, moving the energy in your body uh, in a rhythmic way that was uh, shown to group number one as well so that is uh, what I had I see a slight connection with group number one and three here uh, like adding a kind of uh, you know adding stretches uh, yoga you know uh, or uh, tai chi or something where you rhythmically move or dance for that matter uh, you know so there is something about movement of energy will have you and you'll feel less stressed uh, you know in your body you have the tendency to accumulate accumulate stress around your shoulder around your neck and you may get a lot of neck uh, pain or shoulder pain or the stiffness in your uh, knee and things like that so uh, doing all the sorts of you know movement work energy work is going to help you a lot and also they're showing incense sticks meditation having a sacred space within your house or anywhere wherever you go for a walk you find a space every day to sit there and really meditate and connect with connect with your nature uh, and also to have a sacred place in your house where you can sit down a uh, sip a cup of tea light a candle light an incense sticks just close your eyes take a deep breath and feel your center feel the rhythm of what is going on in your body and you'll know what to do if you feel called to go to group number one please do so because there are some uh, more messages that may uh, be for you as well but just a suggestion Okay, we have uh, Karma and uh, Swadhyaya and uh, Karma is all about you are releasing a lot of past Karma. There has been some heavy period, there has been a stagnancy uh, period for you for quite some time and we have a butterfly here, the cycles, uh, the cycle has come to an end, alright. The hardship, whatever the cycle that you have been through, uh, uh, this, this has been a little bit difficult for you, group number uh, 3, Th there was challenging times, things were really tough for you. Things Things are now slowly getting back to what you want it to be and the cycle is coming to an end and you're starting a new cycle the uh, cycle of you know happiness success and abundance and things are going to be absolutely working in your favor for you uh, so these are some tips and these are some messages that your angels and guides are bringing you they're also telling you whenever uh, you you feel stuck or you have uh, you know this worry anxiety and stress just call on us and you will know what is that you are supposed to be doing well look at that didn't we tell about heart chakra when i picked up that uh, crystal still a lot of heart a chakra like heart energy um, abundance look at the lushness in this garden look at the Tao again uh, like a lot of peace and serenity is coming through and and uh, we have this 
uh, garden here lot of lush green flowers and rabbit is uh, uh, is a sign of uh, uh, abundance and luck for me and the nurturing mother energy like connect with your uh, connect with mother earth energy and then we have sun raising wow things are going to be absolutely wonderful for you self love is the greatest gift of all your unique expression of the divine know that you are connected to all that is let love peace and tranquility penetrate through your being into the world and watch as it and watch as it reflected back at you you are love all right so just take care of yourself love yourself and uh, take care of everything that is around you have a simplistic life do not uh, uh, clutter the energy around you in terms of physical clutter visual clutter or your mental clutter keep clearing it every day which is going to help you have a very uh, clear focused energy and that is what is needed for you in 2021 and also had a kind of uh, exercise or workout where you remove the body you know very rhythmic and uh, in a flow uh, and that is going to help you a lot and also they are telling music is going to help you a lot uh, there is there is amazing blessings that is waiting for you in 2021 your health is going to be amazingly well so just these things that you will have to take care of and you are going to win 2021 in a much graceful and a beautiful way and i absolutely wish you well and that's all i'm getting for you group number 3 and the next video is going to be about love and relationships so make sure you subscribe to my channel and there are many many videos lined up for you and i have a whole plan for 2021 hopefully we you will join me in the journey take care love you all bye bye